Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of DC Collectors. Today we're taking a look at the Mattel DC Multiverse Super Friends Aquaman. Now, this show, Super Friends, was the cartoon that I cut my teeth on as far as DC Comics go, and, and pretty much superheroes in general, uh, because DC Comics was, I mean, th that brand of superheroes was basically the first com or first superheroes that I that I knew, Batman, Superman, thanks to the Superman movie, thanks to the Migos, thanks to the Super Friends cartoon. And of course, Marvel came in after that, not too far after that, but Super Friends was what I cut my teeth on. So uh, I'm, I'm really digging this figure. I want to pull him out of the box and just play with him uh, just because he has that cool Super Friends motif. Does he look exactly like the cartoon? No, uh, they're just giving you the kind of the kind of motif that, that he looks like uh, in, in the DC Universe Classics, DC Multiverse style of figure. So let's start by taking a look at the box. Here you can see cool looking Aquaman from the Super Friends cartoon. Very cool looking artwork here on the back, Super Friends logo. Back of the box features other figures you can get from the Super Friends wave, which include, include Green Lantern, Superman, and Batman. Nice, nice, nice side of this box. This side of the box just gives you kind of a window look into it. And here is the UPC and all of the uh, assortment numbers and all that kind of good stuff. If you want to look at that. All right, so let's break this guy out of the box and let's play with him. Okay, so here is Aquaman out of the box, and I gotta say I'm really digging this character. Not only because I love this Four Horsemen sculpted DC Universe Classics figure, um, but I, I'm just I'm just digging the articulation and everything. I really really love the the original DC Universe Classics line of figures, and um, while they don't stack up as well as far as detail goes to like the McFarlane stuff today, there's something about these figures that seem, you know, on par with those McFarlane figures in a way that m maybe only, you know, I can see and maybe that suits me, but it, but it, it, it we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later, but let's start with the accessories. This guy comes with a Super Friends logo base and I did not realize this in the box. You know, I saw this and I thought that, hey, that's cool. That's, that's, that's really nice. You can see the back of it. It's got the um, copyright info on it, but it comes with this. This sticks into, if you can see here, this little slot here that holds something cool. Okay, you get, if you got the other figures, it would say Super Friends across it, or you can flip it around to give you that good look of Aquaman. And since we don't have the other figures readily available, we're just gonna stick that into it. So Aqua, so the Aquaman character can be the um, backdrop of the back of the um, base. Here is his trident. Really, really cool. Love Aquaman's trident. Got that classic superpowers look to it. And actually it's not a trident because, you know, it's got one, two, three, four, five. What is that? A quintet? A quint didn't or something like that I don't know I'm sure you can tell me I'm probably wrong all right so let's take a look at the paint and the sculpt on this guy this has a very you know as far as the paint goes looking at the Aquaman face it's very uh, simplistic so it does have that cartoonist that cartoony look to it when and, and when I say simplistic like black black eyeballs black you know eye line th that's perfect for this figure it even has some of these black uh, what do you call these things? Uh, not gills, um, but like the armor, the, uh, I, you know what I'm talking about? That mesh looking stuff on, on the, on the armor. It looks really, really cool. Uh, looking at the side, the paint looks really good. The problem with this, and this is a problem with, with this line altogether is, you know, here and here, this is, uh, this is two, these two pieces are a different type plastic than this and this and this, this part of, of, um, Aquaman's belt waist there. So they look, the orange looks different. It looks like this was, was orange plastic. And this is like a bright, shinier kind of plastic. Maybe this is painted, maybe not. I, you know, I don't really know. It looks like this might be a molded orange plastic. I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how these things are put together and how they're designed. So I can't really say for sure. Uh, the greens though, the same plastic here, same plastic here. So they look, you know, they, they look pretty good all the way down. Um, this was a simplistic kind of design. So it was, uh, it, it, there's not much to this. 
you can see muscular sculpt in here, which looks pretty good. Even the little wrinkle in the underwear right there. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool. And all the copyright information on his back. Even got the cool fins on the back. So that's, you know, all pretty, pretty, pretty standard and pretty cool to me. Uh, let's take a look at the articulation on Aquaman. His head can move up and down. Up. Oh, wow. He, he's got pretty good range of motion. Turn all the way around. No tilt to it though. These weren't designed to have that tilt. Uh, there you go. That's as high as his arm will go because of the way this thing is designed. The muscle right here hits the top part of the shoulder so he can't go up any higher than that he does have full rotation around here he has bicep swivel as you can see he does not have double jointed elbows just the one single joint there wrist go all the way around that's it as far as the wrist mobility goes he does have ab crunch see that and his waist can turn all the way around he's got pretty good mobility there he actually has pretty good mobility there too He's got leg or thigh swivel there, just the one knee bend, no double knee. He does have articulation in the ankles. And, uh, you know, as far as how this st stacks up to like a McFarlane toy today, I love this, this articulation in the ankle far more than I like the articulation in the McFarlane Toys figures. And I know, you know, McFarlane Toys does does theirs a different way because they're they're gearing their th that articulation towards people that like to pose, dramatic poses, take pictures, all that kind of good stuff. And that's fine with me. But this level of articulation in this DC Universe Classics line is perfect for me. I don't do a lot of posing. I just like the look of the figure and having it stand right there on the shelf. Yes, I do like to have some articulation available to me in case I do want to stand him a little bit different or to help him stand better or, you know, to maybe move his arms around. But I'm not like trying to get him into like a uh, uh, McFarland Spider-Man, you know, swinging through the city pose. That's not what I'm about. So let's, uh, he does have hole in the bottom of his foot for that peg. And that peg, as you can see, his foot's going all the way down. Don't expect it to help him stand because it's not, I mean, it's, there was no problem going into that. The, the peg is smaller than the hole by a long shot. All right, so that is Aquaman from the uh, Super Friends version from DC Multiverse. All right, if you will, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and also you can find me on social media at DC Collectors on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can check me out on DCCollectors.com each and every day. Peace.